in this video I'm going to explain what the log and ln buttons do on a calculator. This is kind of what the buttons look like on a calculator. If you put in a calculator log 10, you get the answer 1. Meaning this button, followed by this button, followed by this button, followed by this button. If you do the same for the number 100, you get the answer is 2. Log 10 equals 1, log 2 equals log 100 equals 2. But when we use this function on a calculator, what is it doing to these numbers? Well, we know that 10 to the power of 3 equals 1000, and 10 to the power of 2 equals 100, and 10 to the power of 1 equals 10. Earlier I said that log 10 equals 1 and log 100 equals 2. Well, there's an obvious pattern, log 1000 equals 3, log 10,000 equals 4, and so on. You should be able to see that this sum relates to this sum, this sum relates to this sum, and this sum relates to this sum. Because here we've got a 10 and a 1, a 10 and a 1, a 100 and a 2, a 100 and a 2, a 1000 and a 3, a 1000 and a 3. Writing these out in full, there's these small 10s here, here, and here. It means that this log is to a base 10, which I will explain soon. I'm showing more than one example because it always helps me to learn things like this. These two sums are like the opposite of each other, and these two sums are like the opposite of each other again. I suggest that you pause for a while and just look at this and learn what's there. You can do the same thing with much more complex numbers. If you do the log to base 10 of this number, you get that answer. And if you do 10 to the power of that number, you get an answer of 56742, which is the same number as up there. You can show that with this expression. So that's pretty much all we've done on this button. Now on to this button, which is basically the same thing. It's quite simple if you can understand this one. The log button does a log to a base of 10, and the ln button does a log to a base of e. e is a letter to represent Euler's number. The value of e is 2.72, but that's not an accurate representation, just like e is a number like pi, and for pi you would say 3.142, but that's not the actual value. You can never have an actual value for pi because the number continues forever and Euler's number does the same. By continues forever I mean they have an infinite number of decimal places, like a recurring number. For example if you do, but it goes on forever. But getting back to the point of the video, this button does a log to a base of 2.72. So if you catch on fast or you've done this before, you should be thinking that this is obvious. If it's not, take a look. It's the same as what we did before, just using 2.72 instead of the 10. When I did this in a calculator, I got this answer. But that's because, obviously, this number is not as accurate as it should be. It should have a more, much more decimal places, which it did in the calculator, which I calculated it on. As in, this is the number you get if you ask your calculator what your Euler's number is. This is the number the calculator is going to use, not this. There's a few other things we were taught in class today, this being one of them. I prefer to use numbers rather than letters like X or Y, but obviously this works with any other number, as in you could change that 7 to an 8, and change that 7 to an 8, and it's still a correct equation. Another thing is this, you can change the plus to a minus and change the multi multiplication sign to a division sign and that, that keeps the statement true. This is another rule we were told and this is the final rule. I know I said I prefer numbers to x's and y's but this is just one so it's quite simple but if I was using more than one I don't like doing that. <laughs> 